great Fred Bernardo, the smoking guitar player. How you doing? Guess what we're cooking today? That's right. It's the holiday time. So beer, can, turkey on the grill. Here we go. Okay, hey folks, so today we're going to cook some beer can turkey. That's right. So let me tell you what we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to give a little wood flavor in with our charcoal. we got a charcoal grill lid, as you can see by the smoke. I want a little more wood flavor in there, but just a little bit. So I'm going to use these pecan barbecue smoking chips. Pecan wood is a really nice light wood I've found. I use it to smoke cheese, and sometimes on poultry like turkey, it's a little nice. I don't want too much. I'm going to put a light load of them in there, and they'll give a little more, a little bit of a smoky flavor to my beer can chicken, which is going to go perfect with my beer theme. And we're going to put it in this turkan, turkan turkey stand. Then we're going to put the turkey over top. But first, we've got to get rid of some of this here beer. Now, normally, I just, you know, I just add this to my daily intake. But we're going to do something special today. We're going to normally wet these wood chips. We're going to just soak them in beer. That does two purposes. It gets some of the beer out of our can, which we need a little room in there for steam. And also, oh yeah, you know they're going to really make it smell nice. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I got all my stuff I need here. I got the beer can stand, sometimes referred to as a turk can stand for a beer can turkey. And I've got our deluxe oversized drip pan, which works really nice with this. You put the two of them together. Okay, and that's where the turkey's going to go. Now in there, I got myself, let me get myself some hand protection here. Always like to wear some gloves when I'm touching this meat. I got myself a nice 12 pound turkey. Now I took the stuff, all the insides out, the gizzards and things that was packed in there, and I rinsed it real good under the faucet inside the house. Okay, I'm letting him drip off real good. Put him over here for a second. We're going to pat him down. Then what we're going to do, we're going to rub them down really good with this here olive oil. Now we're going to really, really rub them. Now you can see the wings are folded back already on this bird, which is really a nice thing. This turkey farmer guy is really a good guy, man. He sells good stuff and he takes care of business. Now look at that beautiful breast. Now make sure you get the insides. Okay. Now while we're at it, we might as well tell you, since it's a beer, it's a summer theme, I'm doing a Cajun style. And to do that, I'm using the Dixieland Dust Tasty Licks Barbecue Creole Cajun Spices Seasoning Rub. Okay? And that looks like this here. Now, we call it Dixieland Dust because Dixieland's the music in New Orleans. And there she blows. Now, let me tell you, one thing you want to do, you've got your beer can there, you want to put some of this down into that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Then we're going to start doing our turkey. And the way you do this is, you certainly want to get the inside, okay? Put some down in there, and we're going to rub it around. Oh, yeah. Then we're going to get the bottom under the armpits, the wing pits. Get it on here. Oh, you better believe it. Now, I'm not going to mess around here. I'm making a video. i got to go fast, okay? That looks beautiful. Pat it down real good. Now, you got a lot on the inside. Make sure you get some in the neck cavity, too. We did that. Oh, yeah. That's a little clumpy today because it's humid. Put it on there liberally. That's right, liberally. You might even want to put some more on there after you get enough on here. Now, here he goes, okay? Get our beer can with our seasoning right in it. We're going to get our drip pan ready. Let's get rid of that. Here she comes. And then what we do, we mount her right on there. Put that cavity right on there. Oh, you tell me that ain't nice. Okay, now we're set up and ready to go. We just put our wood chips in there that were infused in beer. We got our plate setter in there. And here goes our huge drip pan and our beautiful beer can turkey. Now, I'll tell you what. If you see some spots where you don't got the rub on there to your liking, you just shake up your Dixieland dust from Tasty Lake Barbecue. You just give yourself a little more on there. 
because you know the smoke guitar player says more is better, too much is just right. There she is. Close the top carefully. Don't let that thermometer stab your bird. Now we got it at 375, indirect, should take a couple hours. And we will certainly be back. It's time to check our turkey. So there she is. I put this foil over so I wouldn't get too brown and the rest of it would cook, but let's get our thermometer. Here's our instant read. Now I've been checking it in the breast because I don't want the juice to all leak out if I stick it down there in the thumb. I want to see 160-ish, 155 is actually better, that's exactly what it is away from the bone, okay, and it'll, it'll cook a little after we take it out. Now I'm really looking for 180 down here, so I'm going to stab it now, there, oh, now the juice is running out, going to try and go in deep, I got 165 in there, I'm going to let this one a little longer, okay, we'll be back in about 5-10 minutes to check it out some more. Let's see, she's been on here I think about two and a half hours at about 350. We put this foil on so that it wouldn't get too brown. Oh, are you kidding me? Look at that. Now we're going to check to see if she's done. First I check in here, 160. Now the breast usually gets done before the thigh. We want the thigh to be up at 155, perfect on the breast. It'll cook five more degrees after we take it out. Down here in the thigh, I'm going to go deep in here but not hit the bone. Here we go. I'm looking for 175 and I got it. It'll go to 180 while it's uh, resting. So now the important part is to get it out of here without dumping it. Now I'm going to try using my gloves. Carefully, I have my surface all ready here. Now look at that bird. Are you kidding me? That is one Cajun bird, man. All prepped with the Cajun seasoning. That's Dixie Land dust. And that's what we prepped this baby. And then we've got the beer can inside with the England steam in the bird. Now at this point, you're going to let it rest and cover it, okay? But you have two options. You can dismount the bird, kind of remove it, look, pick it up, use your tongs and wiggle it up and get it up off here and lay it in a, in a platter and carve it, okay? That's one thing you could do. Or you could do what I like to do. I got all my guests sitting around the table. I'm going to take this bugger all sizzling just like it is now. I'm going to take it over there and I just plop it right in front of them. And then we just carve it right on the stand. We carve the breast meat off. As a matter of fact, I might take a little taste right now. Let's see what she tastes like. What do you say? Give it a little taste, right? That's right. Let's see how we do here. We're gonna carve a piece right off of here. Oh, look at the juice running out of there, camera person. Look, look at this. Look at the juice running out of there. And the skin is crispy. Oh, whoa. Look at this. I gotta have a taste. That Cajun seasoning is just the perfect thing to go with that beer. I'm going to take another little taste here. And that is it, folks. I'm going to save this piece for the camera person. And that is Cajun Beer Can Chicken from Tasty Licks Barbecue. In the middle of the summer. I'll see you at Thanksgiving.